A controversial episode in China's long and illustrious history is that of the Cultural Revolution, which was launched in 1966 by Mao Zedong to restore his power. He called on China's youth to purge the country of impurity and restore the spirit of the revolution that had taken place 20 years prior to create the People's Republic of China. Between 1958 to 1960, Mao's great leap forward had been largely deemed a failure and as a result his position was weakened. To restore his authority, he got together some of his loyalists, including his wife Jiang Qing and Defence Minister Lin Biao, to discredit the party leadership and launch the Cultural Revolution, known in full as the Great Proletarian Cultural Revolution. There were four goals for Mao's Cultural Revolution. To replace his designated successors with leaders more faithful to his current thinking, to rectify the Chinese Communist Party, to provide China's youths with a revolutionary experience, and to achieve some specific policy changes so as to make the educational, healthcare and cultural systems less elitist. Schools across the nation were closed and students formed paramilitary groups called the Red Guards who attacked and harassed members of China's intellectual population. What were known as the Four Olds, old customs, old culture, old habits and old ideas, were discouraged and often forcibly erased from sectors of society. A cult of personality was created around Mao after a campaign to enhance his reputation, and his little red book was printed in its millions and made mandatory reading. After some years, factions of the Red Guard started to disagree about how to carry out Mao's doctrine and violently clashed, leading to Lin Biao ordering the army to restore order around the country. Lin Biao was officially designated as Mao's successor and declared martial law under the guise of Sino-Soviet border clashes in the spring of 1969. Biao's desire for power worried Mao and in 1970 he suspiciously died in a plane crash whilst apparently attempting to flee China after clashing with the leadership. After this there was a struggle for power at the top of China's politics between Mao's radical wife Jiang Qing including her Gang of Four, and the more progressive and moderate Zhao Enlai. The radicals convinced Mao that Zhao's policies would lead eventually to a repudiation of the Cultural Revolution, but just as he moved in a more radical direction, he died in January 1976, ending the Cultural Revolution. The previously purged Deng Xiaoping took control for the next 20 years and set China on a path of economic and social reform that has led to greater prosperity in China and seen its rise on the international scene. It is estimated that 1.5 million people were killed during the Cultural Revolution and many millions more were imprisoned, tortured, humiliated and had their assets seized. The economy stalled and there was bureaucratic timidity due to officials being afraid to make decisions that could easily come back to haunt them within months. The education system was also damaged, as a whole generation was encouraged to take to the streets and follow ideology as opposed to scientific logic. Finally, the Cultural Revolution led to a great distrust in government, politics and the party that has never been fully repaired. Thanks for watching this 4 minute history on the Cultural Revolution and please look in the description below for books and movies you should check out for a more detailed and nuanced look at all things associated with this period in China's history. If you found that interesting, you may also be interested in another 4 minute history on an array of topics throughout human history. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you soon.